So this is a, another PG3 myth that came out of uh, their information. And it's that over the past 10 years, the cost of providing services has, has rose 86.8%. Again, we're, we're not quite sure where they got this number, uh, but we did our own averages directly from the city financials. And we came up with an average of 45.5% that that has increased over the past 10 years. And I'll let Dean speak to a little bit about this as well as Mark, because there are some, some significant increases that occurred over the past 10 years as to why this number has increased. I'll let Dean start. All right. Certainly is So the thing I would point out on this is um, a couple things. One, when we look at administration here, so this green line, and I think it's just, I think it's fair and, and accurate to kind of point out what all is in there. There's a few different uh, definitions of what, if you look at the financial statements, what it says general government. Not everything that's in general government is administration. And I don't want to get into too much details here unless someone wants to come talk to me after, but. I think it's, we ought to point out that included in this administration are things like community development, um, the courts are in this, in this cost, and if you look at the, 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 the real increase right here between like 13 and 14, the main reason, um, or the biggest increase during that time is just related to um, our engineering costs because the city was growing so fast. So there's times, times of the year, in fact, you look at the growth here, and then it kind of goes down, and then growth again. That's, a lot of that just has to do with, with the development of the city. So when we have a lot of development going on, we have to pay engineering costs more. And so I, I think it's just, and, and I and also point out that in those years when it's growing, um, we have revenue that's associated with that. And the developers are paying fees to do those things. So to make it seem like we're growing really fast here, just out of natural growth or for whatever reason, I don't think is, is, is accurate. And I'd also like to point out in 15 and 16, these are not actual numbers. I, I assume they got them from our budgeted numbers. I'm not sure. Um, I really haven't gone through and figured out exactly where every number came from. But um, all these are budgeted numbers are going to be higher than our actual numbers, right? Because the budget's a cap that we put on spending. I think, um, I'm trying to think, every year we spent you know, between three to seven hundred thousand dollars less than what what's budgeted just as a city, or at least in the in the general fund as a whole. So when we're looking at this, and it kind of looks like it's steep right here. It's part of it's because we're using actual numbers here and uh, budgeted numbers here. Um, my next one, I think. Yeah, I think the other thing to point out on parks and recreation. Realize part of the reason it's a little steeper here is because well, the rec, the rec center is back here. Is when we put in the rec center, obviously there are more costs associated with that, but there's a lot more revenues associated with that. So it's fair to say we're spending more on parks and rec than we were back then, but some of some of this uh, increases offset with, with uh, revenue. Because of fire station. Yeah. So just looking at these numbers, it's really easy when you look at public safety to think of fire department separate from public safety and that the police. Dispatch has a separate budget. Each one of those have a separate budget. In 2000, I can't remember 2005, but 2006 when I started as the fire chief, our budget was about 685,000. The next year, 735,000. Well, in 2008, everybody knows the city made a, a drastic decision to go full-time fire. We secured federal, a federal grant of over a million dollars that the city didn't have to pay back, so that it allowed us to take, a, when you're talking a service level, from you calling 911 for the firemen to get to their house or the ambulance personnel to get to the, from their house to the fire station and then respond to your house. I mean, we averaged 17 to 20 minutes response time. So that's what your house is on fire, whether you're not breathing, when you call 911 in 2007, it was going to take that long for a response. 2008, we go full time. The budget goes from 735000 to $1.8 million instantly. But over the course of the next five years, that budget increase was offset by the federal rent money. To the end of five years, then the, the city's totally absorbed that $1.8 million increase. So if you add a million dollars to that public safety 2005 line item, and it was really close to 2015, which shows over the course of those 10 years, public safety in general stayed relatively flat, other than that one huge increase to the level of service that the city 